July 15, 2010. What we make of our life is our choice. It can often be confusing to understand if things that are happening in our lives are self-created, as in the laws of attraction, sent to us as a lesson through karma or bad choice or God or whatever. My brother-in-law John was a most amazing man deeply caring and spiritual, involved in his church and community, a musician, an award-winning jeweller who owned his own business and, of course, was married to my sister Kay. He felt ill for several weeks until one morning he woke up and he could no longer move. He had suffered a severe, a severe attack of arthritis. Over the course of the next month or months, he lost his business, his life direction, his independence, finally his connection to God. After a couple of years, a friend from his church dropped in a book on foot and mouth painting. By this time, John's body had atrophied so much he could barely move his head, let alone any part of his body. Eventually, after months, he decided to give it a go. And so the paints were bought and the canvases were bought. And my sister would move the canvas across the easel as he tried to paint, because he couldn't move. Over the course of the following years, he progressed from being financially supported by the Mouth and Foot Painters Association to being a respected artist in his own right and financially independent. In those years, his smile was huge. His connection to spirit returned and their family continued to grow. He was one of the most amazingly positive people I have ever met. Both he and my sister were inspirational. John passed away several years ago. He touched so many lives in so many ways. His life was definitely not what he had planned. It became so much more, I believe. I'm under no illusion that his life presented extreme challenges for him and my sister and their family. It would appear that there was perhaps a greater plan for John's life than the one he had. So did John attract his illness? Was it karma, a life lesson? All I know is that at some point something very profound happened and he lived a most amazing life and touched so many souls. He was a being filled with an abundance of joy and love that in the end it was his choice to hold that paintbrush in his mouth his choice to struggle through the pain, to smile and laugh, to be love. Love and peace.